Hey everyone, if you're new to my channel, my name is Thomas Dawson and I am on Vancouver Island and on my way to a place called Stocking Creek Falls. Now Stocking Creek Falls is approximately an hour and a quarter from Victoria or from Nanaimo if you're heading south, only about a half an hour. And Stocking Creek Falls is in my Vancouver Island waterfall ebook in case you're interested where I give uh, precise directions for how to get there along with 27 other really nice waterfalls on Vancouver Island. So as you can see from the scenery around me it is peak fall. It's October 15th 2019 and I'm doing my best to get out as often as I can right now because the uh, fall colors are actually a little nicer than normal so uh, I just actually did a video from Triple Falls where I <laughs> found there wasn't much of a falls on the upper level falls but uh, gonna hope for uh, something a little bit better here so in a moment I'll pick back up when we're getting a little bit closer to the waterfall Last year when I came here for the first time, when I was working on my waterfall ebook, uh, I got here a little bit late for the fall colors. And as you can see by the trail, which by the way is a, it's a really nice trail. It's commonly used by the uh, people in this area. Uh, so I'm hoping as opposed to last year that I'll be able to incorporate some more of the fall colors in the trees instead of them all being on the ground like they were last year. And as I'm getting nearer to the waterfall, I can see that there is still quite a few nicely colored leaves. The uh, river is actually right by where those, wa those maples are. And uh, the other thing I'm hoping for, which it looks like I might get my wish at least to some extent, is a little bit of mist. Uh, when I was up at Triple Falls, it started raining and uh, on the way through Nanaimo, it was just absolutely pouring. And it's <laughs> when I pulled up here, it was just sprinkling. Now it's starting to pour with rain again, but it doesn't feel like because I'm walking under a nice canopy of forest. But um, yeah, I'm hoping there's going to be a bit of mess that rolls in. so. I'll probably stick around here for a little while in hopes of that happening and we'll be at the waterfall shortly. It's only uh, about a 10 minute walk from the uh, end of the cul-de-sac where you park. So it's uh, really easy to one to get to, which is a nice change compared to the waterfalls I've been going to or I've been off the beaten pack and path and beating my way through thick brush so this is kind of fun all right you should be able to hear the creek over there and some more nice fall colors so things are looking up we're at the uh, viewing platform and you're about to see the waterfall and uh, that's actually a pretty low flow still uh, normally, once the water gets flowing, that whole area is going to be all waterfall. So it's, it's uh, nothing special at the moment. And I didn't really realize it, but there's not really a whole lot of uh, maple trees to incorporate into the shot. Maybe once I get down there, 
get a different angle. I can see there's a maple maple tree around the corner. But uh, the first thing I want to tell you is that um, you're going to do some shots here. This spot right here, the viewing platform isn't very good. What you're going to have to do is go back up these stairs and then you're going to have to hop over the, the wooden fence and then come down underneath the viewing platform. Uh, next thing I noticed right off the bat here is there's a tree that's fallen down. That was not there last year. So that's making for an even bigger mess than it was before. So yeah, that's going to make it really challenging to get a, a half decent shot, but I'll be able to sort things out a little bit better once I get down to there. So that's where we'll, we'll pick up once they get down there. Right here is where you're going to have to hop over the uh, wood fence. And as you can see, there's a bit of a makeshift trail because so many people have done it before. I mean, pretty much everybody that comes here does go down there. So I'm going to hop over here quickly. And then go down this slippery, muddy trail here. I think I'll go along the fence line and avoid that little slope. Something else I just noticed was that uh, one, of my, one of my other favorite shots, which is just down from the waterfall where these little rapids are down here, there's uh, a tree that's fallen right, or a big log, whatever you want to call it, fallen right exactly where I used to stand to get my composition. So that shot's kind of ruined now. So that's a bit of a drag, but I do have a shot from that spot before all that happened. And here's just a quick glimpse of what it looks like down in that lower cascade area. And same with down here, but yeah, it's going to be a bit of a challenge to uh, find a composition to show you what you have. <laughs> there we go. A nice slip. Too bad I didn't capture that on camera, but or at least with me in the shot. But part of the fun of coming out to shoot waterfalls on slippery trail. All right, we'll just keep rolling. Let's get up close here. Yeah, that tree, that really, that really makes things difficult. And before a lot of people, trying to keep the camera from getting wet here, before a lot of people would incorporate this fallen tree, which has been here for quite a while. And now this fallen tree has affected that one. So that one's really blocking things. So this is a really, real mess of a scene now. Yeah, I don't know how, how I'll manage to get a shot out of this mess, but I'm going to explore back further in an attempt to minimize that mess, but yeah, unless something happens where that's, that log is moved, this is a rather crappy shot. But I can see some nice fall colors up there. So let's just move back a little bit and see what we can do. All right, so it's pouring rain. I'm trying to keep my uh, gear fairly dry. Uh, realistically, the only half decent shot I can find right now is from somewhere back here, which as I was mentioning will minimalize the ugly trees that are right in the path of this, uh, the lower part of the waterfall. But there is some nice fall colors up above the waterfall. So I don't know if that really makes up for it but that's what I'm going to try. I'll try to uh, get down fairly low and uh, try to get some of these fall colors, fall the leaves that are in the, uh, the creek, the creek. And we'll just see what we come up with, but I'm not holding out my hopes too high for a great shot here, but let's give it a whirl. 
as I explained in my Triple Falls video, explore your, your spots from all different kinds of angles, but this is just messy over here too. I mean, again, there's some decent fall color up above the waterfall, but that fallen tree there, that fallen tree there, there really isn't uh, much that could be done about that. And it looks too deep to get in over there to the uh, left where I could maybe get an un unobscured shot. So, looking pretty sad, folks. I guess on the uh, bright side, it keeps raining at this clip. These waterfalls will fill up pretty quickly, but. All right, so I'm gonna go over if you haven't been here before, you can actually go underneath the waterfall and shoot this way. So I'm going to explore over that way and see if there's any remote chance that there's a shot to be had from over there. As you can see, this angle is pretty dull. I wouldn't even bother taking a shot from here. And uh, yeah, it's looking uh, pretty, pretty pitiful. So let me uh, just get over here where it's not quite as noisy. Uh, I think this is a, uh, a major bust. <laughs> So I guess that the uh, lesson learned here today is that Stocking Creek Falls is uh, quite a mess. And in my opinion, not worth shooting right now. It's, uh, there's just no shot that appeals to me whatsoever. And unless somebody comes along and does something to, with a chainsaw to get rid of that newly fallen tree, uh, it's going to remain a mess and not worth shooting, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think even if the water flow is super heavy that it's going to wash that tree away. I think something is going to have to be done by uh, a human. So, slippery. I guess that's all I have to say about this. And so, I guess I can't really say if you like the video, give it a thumbs up because there's not much to like. <laughs> but at least you do know what it looks like down here right now. And maybe in the future you can come down here. Uh, but anyway, I'll be going on more adventures, especially if it keeps raining. So, if you want to see some more of my adventures, click on subscribe. And. As usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll say so long for now, to Vancouver Island. As you can probably guess, the following two photos were from the previous year. What I really liked about this particular day is that there is a nice amount of mist, which really added a nice atmosphere to the shot. What I did was go a little bit further away, where there is a nice big patch of maple leaves that have gathered in the river and they even lead your eye a little bit into the scene. Add to that the fact that there isn't one of those fallen trees that there now is and I was quite happy with this shot. This next shot is from that lower cascade area which now has a log blocking it. As you can see the cascade it was really nice and the ground was just carpeted with bright orange leaves and so it made for a really attractive shot with the mist in the background. Hopefully someday in the future this scene will get back to how it was here. Yeah.